The way that Tinkercad works is essentially you need to build your shapes based on the basic geometric shapes that they supply to you. And in order to kind of make something that's sort of custom, you need to know how to manipulate the shapes. First things first, to actually insert a shape, you can very simply click and drag it from the sidebar and drop it somewhere on your work plane. Now when a shape is selected, you'll notice that you have all of these different boxes to go ahead and change the size. So I can manually click and drag on the different boxes, change the shapes, dimensions in different ways and things. I can change the height if I were to drag this top. I can also use the tools on the shape editing toolbar and use these sliders rather than using the boxes right on the shape itself. Now to actually raise and lower a shape, you're gonna use this black cone arrow and I can lift the shape up off the work plane or lower it beneath the work plane. I can actually go ahead and rotate the shape by using these side arrows and change its different orientation and do things like this. And then of course, if you were to drag more than one shape out, you can sort of drag them and manipulate them together. You can click on more than one shape at a time by simply holding the shift key and clicking on more than one shape. And then I can actually bend and manipulate and move these shapes as though they were connected together. 